Welcome to the new lesson and in today's lesson we will be learning how to make an abstract approach and paint a hare. Hares are similar to rabbit but there are number of key differences. Hares are usually larger than the rabbit and have longer ears. So in this lesson I will start with a wet on wet technique as our previous lessons also start with a wet on wet technique so I hope you understand what exactly the wet on wet technique is in which you first add lots of water and then you add paint. Now for this lesson, I will be using cool and warm color scheme. So it's completely up to you and I definitely encourage you to use your own color scheme. I'm starting with the cool color for the background and I will also add the salt technique to create more texture in the background. So let's complete this background and I'll show you the next step. while my paint is already wet i will use the pink salt you can use any salt you have and i will be sprinkling some salt on the wet paint remember to do it really fast so the layers will not get dry and the salt will start working salt will remove the color from the area where it will be so it will give you a nice white texture in the background this will take around 5 to 10 minutes if you want to naturally dry this but if you want to use hair dryer you can use it but i recommend you to let it dry on its own now just to add a little bit more texture i'm using the tissue and dabbing it to remove some of the extra paint from the ground try not to do this on the salt area just use this to remove the extra paint or give some more texture on the wet on wet Now I have this paint palette with me with lots of colors so if you have any kind of watercolor palette you can definitely use otherwise you can use the tube paints. I will be using few colors from the paint palette and uh, I'll show you the next step. I'll start with the orange color and uh, will try to keep more warm colors in my hair and will go with the colors which can blend together and will not make the muddy colors that will be orange yellow pink and i will do a time lapse of this step so you can definitely pause or replay again if you want to see the step again first layer of the body and face now I'll start using small brush and start adding the details in the eyes so you can go with any color of your choice it can be brown it can be black but I definitely uh, suggest you to go with some browns ochre green and then add the black later on I will use some black I will be adding some highlights on it so I'll just make a little time lapse and add some music to the background so you can follow and enjoy your painting now at this point add some color which should not be uh, wet on wet it has to be a nice consistency and then use some water in a circling motion and spread the paint so it will look more dissolved and then you can play with the colors it can be dark light and two different colors but remember to mix the colors only the one which will not turn into the muddy colors it can be the value of color which can be diluted with lots of paint small small strokes circling motion to blend the color you can use the tissue to dab it if you feel that the, there is a lot of color on that area so go slow and accordingly you can keep adding the colors of your choice.
Now at this point you can see I am just adding some cool color splatters and dots because my first layer is not completely dry but it's a nice damp. So when I will add the splatters it will automatically dissolve in the color and it will give a nice abstract look to the hair. Now let's come back to the eye section. The first layers are dry and now we will start working on the details with a fine brush and you can start with the black outlining. Check the reference, you can just pause the video and slowly I'm just outlining the eyes and adding a bit more darker shades like uh, wherever I can see it's dark, you can add some dark. I can add some highlights later. I will be adding more dark around the ears area so wherever you want you can pause i'm not going to make it time lapse so it will go slow and you can easily follow the steps
Now at this point I will use some dark brown and some black color. It's completely up to you. If you are comfortable using the black color, you can definitely go with the black shade and start adding the shades under the neck area. So uh, just to make uh, the face pop, we need to add some darker shades. It can be dark pink, it can be black, it can be brown. Completely your choice. You can always um, try a few different shades and whatever works best for you, you can go for it. Adding a little bit of a mouth line, but if you don't want, you can skip that part. And I will just go with a small, small flicks to create like the fur effect because that will give a little bit realistic uh, look to the hair and uh, the fur will definitely add some special touch into our hair. Now as we are approaching to the end of the technique, so we will be adding lots of flicking effect like small short short strokes to create the fur effect and uh, it will give a little more texture to the hair body and it will give more uh, realistic look in abstract colors. So just keep going in same direction as your pencil and add small small short strokes which is also called flicking technique. You may have noticed that I work with few layers and then I start working on the other side of my object. The reason so I can wait, instead of waiting for very long, I can just keep working on the other areas while my first few layers are getting dry. And in watercolor approach or in any paint, you need to wait for your layers to get dry to get the second layer work better and you can see the colors you can see the strokes in a better way so now i'm working on the ear and again as a last step i will be adding lots of shades into it you can use any color it can be the same color mixed with black you can directly use black color and uh, wherever i feel that it's too much i will just quickly take the water move my brush in a circling direction and just dissolve the paint so the paint won't look very solid Try to practice on a rough paper and then you can try doing it on the final paper.
just to give a little extra touch i'm adding the same pink in the background and yellow giving some grass and the bushes effect with the same technique what we did in the panda or in the other lessons you can always watch those again it's in a time lapse so because it's the same technique what we have already done in the previous lesson so i just make it in the time lapse adding some whites to create some more whimsical look in my painting i hope you enjoy the lesson don't forget to share your paintings with me see you in the next lesson